welcome back. A church in Makudi, the Benue state capital, has become the scene of some sort of pilgrimage for Christians, particularly of the Catholic faith. This follows claims of a mysterious appearance of an apparition believed to be that of Jesus Christ in form of flames around the church crucifix. The apparition is said to have appeared in the church around midnight, leaving the figure of the crucified Christ with burn marks and what appears to be bloodstains. From there, let's move on to sports news. Here's Ayotunde Balogu. Starting now with some sports news. Well, Nigeria's Aaron Okadri has qualified for the quarterfinals of the men's singles table tennis event at the 2016 Olympic Games. Okadri uh, defeated the Chinese, or uh, Okadri uh, defeated world number 13, Timo Ball, that's 4 2 in the Kili contested encounter. Now, this victory is the biggest upset in Olympic table tennis history. Uh, the 27 year old will face China's Ma Long in the next round. Our coach Samson Siasia has assured fans that his team will continue to take it one game at a time in the ongoing men's Olympic football tournament at the Olympics in Rio. Speaking after the 1-0 victory over Sweden, coach Siasia said his attention is on the team's last group game against Colombia. The 48-year-old tactician says he's not bothered about playing any team in the quarter-final. He insists that he's happy that the Dream Team 6 kept a clean sheet and promised to correct the frailties in his team's defence. Iran Nigeria's Youth and Sports Minister Suleiman Dalong has taken responsibility for the under-23 national team's late arrival in Brazil. Mr. Dalong tendered his apology in the dressing room after the game against Sweden at the Arena Amazonia. The minister who watched the match assured players and officials that all their bonuses and allowances due to them will be paid. The squad had arrived a few hours to their opening match against Japan after they were stranded for three days in Atlanta, USA. Now, the International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach says that the Paralympic authorities are in a different situation to his own organization regarding their decision to ban Russia from their games. Mr. Bax said the Paralympic chief, Philip Craven, had different criteria to work with than those of the IOC. The IOC has been widely criticized for not giving Russia a blanket ban from this year's Olympics. Now, Germany's Martin Kemmer has played down reports that golf is having a shaky showcase at the Rio 2016 Games, seven years after successfully pleading its case to be readmitted to the Olympics following an absence of more than a century. Kamer says there are still a lot of top golfers attending and that the atmosphere at the Olympics is incomparable to any other competition. The 20th PGA champion explained that winning an Olympic gold will indeed be a dream come true. Golf has only been guaranteed a spot in Rio and then at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics with future voting set to decide whether the game will remain within the Olympic program Beyond that, that's 2020. And that's Rappin' Sports News. I'm Ayotunde Balgo. The News at 10 continues shortly. Now, rights groups in Ethiopia claim as many as 100 people have been killed in anti-government demonstrations that took place over the weekend. Groups like Amnesty International said security forces fired live bullets at peaceful protesters in different towns and cities and in one of the hotspots of the protests. In addition to responding with violence to the protests, the government has blamed the uprising on whom it describes as nearby and distant foreign enemies and social media activists for defying warnings about holding unauthorized protests. They said the protesters were destroying government and private property and killing innocent citizens. The unrest started last November following a plan announced by the government to expand Addis Ababa into Oromia. 
and a faction in the Pakistani Taliban has claimed responsibility for a suicide blast at a hospital entrance in Quetta, southwest of the country. Jamma al Uhar had carried out the attack, including another earlier in the day that killed the president of the Balochistan Bar Association, Bilal Anwar Kasi. To something a bit more cheery on entertainment news tonight, we have movie star Insa Etting's performance in the Nollywood movie Silvertown. Here's Victoria Idu. It's a lineup of new materials tonight on entertainment news, beginning with Pom Pom Singer Ketchup, who has just released the video for his musical collaboration with pop star Davido, titled Debut. The star's visual directed flick features cameo appearances from Mr. 2K, YBNL rapper Victor, YC, as well as producer of the song Jason. <laughs> Rising star Pepe Nazi finally drops a video for the song titled I Ain't Got No Time. The video, which was shot in locations in Lagos, was directed by Kadoso. An emerging R&B singer Mix Breed is out with a low tempo tune titled Dynamite. The video was created by Twinkle. Are you gonna say shit that you're my biggest fan? Like in everything I do like this. And on to Nollywood, where screen diva Nsekbe Etim stars alongside Anthony Manjaro and Shoa Kindele in the movie Silver Town. Isaac Bertim's husband, who appears to have been murdered in seeking asylum to avoid returning home to Nigeria, where her husband's family is waiting to question her on his death. <laughs> And that's all on tonight. It's back to the news at 10. Thanks a lot, Victoria. And the main news again. The Southwest chapter of the People's Democratic Party today disagreed over which candidate to present as national chairman. The party's board of trustees has, however, moved to mend fences with the demand for withdrawal of all pending court cases among its members. Also today, three members of the Joint Task Force Operation Safe Haven have been killed by gunmen in Bayelsa State during routine patrol of waterways in Nimbe. And about 100 people have been killed in protests in Ethiopia as demonstrators clashed with security forces in different parts of the country. Well, that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Hunyato. You have a good night.